In the fall of 2022, I attended the seventh biennial conference that was held by the Western Cast Iron Art Alliance. It was hosted by the University of South Dakota in Vermilion, South Dakota. In the cast iron art community, we usually just refer to this conference as the Western or the Western Conference. And as I mentioned before, it's biennial and rotates locations around the Western portion of the United States between the areas where the different board members live. The first few days of the conference kicked off with workshops and panel discussions. One of the panels was on the topic of community outreach and casting iron outside of academia. Another panel was hosted by the infamous Biff Ladle Warmer and focused on performance cast iron art. And finally, last but not least, coming from parts unknown, the bearded wonder, Kurt Bershears. Hi, Kurt, thank you for Hello. being here. Good to be here. Yeah, are you sure? Yes. We'll find out soon. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. Okay. So today, folks, uh, the hot topic subject is performance cast iron art. Some of the workshops offered at this conference were a bonded resin sand mold workshop and a ceramic shell workshop where participants could take advantage of the resources available at the University of South Dakota to make a sand mold or ceramic shell mold that would be poured on Saturday at the conference's production pour. There was also a reaction mold workshop where participants were coached on how to design and safely pour their own reaction mold. The conference also featured a tiny iron workshop where participants were taught how to make small molds about the size of a soup can, and then the iron is cast into them using a centrifuge machine, and the results are quite small and unbelievably detailed. Thursday evening is when all of the conference exhibitions opened. The main exhibition showcased juried works by students and professionals in the field and showcased the width and breadth of the cast iron art movement's creativity and professionalism. On Friday in the late afternoon, the Western Conference featured the inauguration of the Iron Carnival. And this performance was enabled by many and enjoyed by all with no furnaces or molds, just food, games, and fun. Many of the individual aspects of the carnival had foundry themes and overall it was a celebration that included custom balloons, a pick a duck game, tarot card readings, there were also custom critters that could be won by playing bottle ball, as well as very desirable works of art could be won by trying your hand at the Sloss Toss game. Once the sun went down on Friday evening, the performance pour began. In the cast iron art world, there are some artists who focus on making objects, but there are other artists whose artistic practice utilizes the spectacle of iron casting. The viewer's experience of witnessing these performances is what validates these artists in their work.
Saturday was the day of the production pour, and this is when all of the molds from the ceramic shell and sand mold workshop were poured.
Overall, the 2022 Western Conference was a magical time where community members from the Cast Iron Art Tribe could come together, network, share ideas, learn new skills, and showcase their artwork. The next Western Conference is coming up this fall and will be held from October 30th through November 3rd in El Cajon, California. If you're interested in attending this event or learning more information about it, visit the website WCIAA.org. An enormous thanks to the Western Cast Iron Art board members for continuing to organize these conferences and provide opportunities to pour iron and exhibition our artwork on the Western side of the U.S. <laughs>